Hey, we are at day three of QuickBooks Connect in Las Vegas, and I have Ted Callahan, who's, I think, Ted, now you've been on the podcast three times, four times. You've been the voice of accountants, and now you have a new title. Can you tell us that? Yep. I am now basically responsible for accountant partnership and strategy for QuickBooks. And yesterday, you guys announced, like, four hours of stuff in 16 minutes, and we couldn't get to it all. And so I was like, let's just go and visit all the things you guys added to QuickBooks now and then walk around. So let's take a walk. Hi, I'm Ryan Ward. I'm a group product manager for QuickBooks Accounting Automation. So what are some of the highlights? I think I saw yesterday, like, you guys get check images now. Yeah. Menus are changing. Show us. Let's, let's see some things. Absolutely. So everything we're doing is about bringing more context for our accountants and our small businesses and trying to simplify a few workflows while automating those really basic things. So we're starting with a lot of payee automation. So you'll start seeing in the bank feed, if we have a high confident description, like, hey, you went to Shell and purchased something, we shouldn't ask you who you paid. We're just going to be able to create that vendor or match to an existing vendor. So you don't have to go ahead and say, let me add that to every transaction. Now we're starting to import check images directly from the bank. So if you have someone that gets a check and it's a super low context transaction where it just says check number 1183, well, you're going to have to ask, who did you pay? What did you buy? You reach out to the client, you go to the bank website, you need the image. Send me a picture of it. Give me a document. Tell me what you used it for. Well, now you're going to start seeing these transactions just come in directly with a check image. So you get the front and the back of the image here. You can blow it up. You can download it do whatever you need with it. And when it goes into the bank register, when you add that transaction from the bank feed, it's gonna stay on the transaction itself. And then are you reading information from the check to try to figure out what the check's for? We are not yet, but that not is yet. part okay. of our plan. Cool, no, that's huge. People have been asking for this for a decade. It's, it's huge, huge, huge. And then you, you can control the menus now. Yeah, absolutely. So it, which is great, because I have a bunch of stuff I don't use, and it's like just in my way. Or in your client's way, and they're going into spaces that you okay. don't want them to touch. So what we're starting to see is in the left nav, you'll start seeing this icon, and it's rolling out in business view first, and we're going to start moving that so it can be customizable to everyone. But let's say they come in, and you've got this menu, and they go into banking, and payroll, and taxes and you see that all the time and they start messing with things in the left nav and you're like, I don't want them going in there. You can just go in and say, you know what I want you doing? I'm going to take payroll away and banking and taxes. I just want turn you to it focus all on You're not allowed to do anything. I want you to send invoices. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on for them and I'm going to move it to the top. So they go in there, you start getting it in the top nav, that's all they see. Or you can add bookmarks to say, these are the things that I frequently use. So I spend a lot of time doing the 1099s or capital. You can click those or the chart of accounts so that they show up in the left nav and you no longer need to go hunt for them in there. They're just here. In the That's great. And what's awesome is the bookmarks feature and functionality was something the team had prioritized at a totally different level until they came and engaged with our accountant council. And accountant council were so clear of like, this is going to be a massive use yes. case that we prioritized it ahead. So it's one of the ways where we've got that engagement feedback, changing what we're developing. Yeah. If I'm connecting a bank feed for the first time and you know, it downloads 90 days of transactions, yeah. you guys have like a, I mean, lack of better words, like a Tinder style, like, yeah. like wizard, right? <laughs> to get through them, right? That's swiping left to right, or I'm just... It, it is a little Tinder style. It's <laughs> Tinder for, for transactions Jackson, and accounting. Okay. Uh, and it's, so you'll notice it in the, uh, when you first connect a bank, you'll see it in the, as a setup item after you connect a bank okay. and say, hey, let's look for these transactions that are common. And the whole idea is those common expenses, things that just are frequent and easy for us to categorize and account for, let's get them out of the way so you can spend your time focusing on those low context okay. issues or high complexity issues. Yeah. What was this expense for? Oh, it's for insurance. That's a very common one. Uh, maybe it's liability insurance. We show our top three predictions for that in order. Starbucks can say, you know, that's got very variability. I'm gonna skip this expense. Oh, Geico, you know what? Let's say I do liability insurance through Geico. AdWords is always advertising and marketing. So as you're going through this, it reminds me of the CAPTCHA, how, how Google used CAPTCHA to like yep. read the books. Yes. Everybody's training the bots and the AI. This is, you're training the bot a AI for everybody else. Our machine learning models, they take time to learn. And accountants understood that. Small businesses did not. They thought we were just what we were predicting was right. So when you would sign up for an account and connect a bank, our accuracy was about 40%. Now when customers go through this, accuracy jumps up to above 80% for our categorization predictions. Wow. And we can automate over half of your transactions on day one. 
and get those into the books accounted for accurately. And the really cool thing is we reordered matching and rules. So it used to be that a rule would apply ahead of matching. Thank you. You should start seeing that rolling out really broadly. You'll start seeing your accounts that if you have an auto add rule or any rule applied, but we find a match, we're gonna say, hey, is this a match? And if you say no, it's like, great, we'll apply that rule that you created. And the really exciting thing for me though is it's what we're doing with those really complex transactions like, hey, is this an asset purchase? Or you have a loan where customers would come in and they'd just apply a principal payment. And they'd say, oh, all those principal would screw up their books, you'd have to clean it up, go back and forth, get the statement. We started this workflow called Guided Q&A. This is pulling in a USAA transaction but let's say I have a loan. Well, we ask, who did you pay? So you're basically, you're building the account. Because the account would go to the client and be like, who did you pay? What was this for? And you're just putting it in. We're so doing it to get accountants more context yeah. so that you can focus on serving more clients, moving to our advisory services. And you can say, great, that's in the books. I have another question. Let me follow back up on that. But you shouldn't have to ask what was principal and interest. They should say, hey, here's my statement. It's in QuickBooks as an attachment, yep. and this is my principal and interest payment. Yep, that makes sense. So you can start breaking that down into say it's a long-term business loan. It's $375, and I paid $150 toward interest. We break it down, and when we confirm that transaction, it'll be in the books broken down into principal and interest. Amazing, amazing. All through Wizards. And when we go over to the QuickBooks Online accountant section, we can show you how that exchange between the accountant and the client is all automated. It sounds like a transition and we'll have to walk over there. Yeah. <laughs>